using the decision table is not suitable for all the problems. A lot of problems will take a lot of iterations to come to an exact result. The first problem speaks about the case ID. Case ID in the sense the test case ID. The decision table will not hold good for all the problems. Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the next important and interesting session with respect to the test cases of next date problem. Yes, sir, we have been hearing that a word called next date, next date. Yes, so my dear students, I was discussing the concept of decision table with respect to the next date problem. But now it's time for all of us to discuss the test cases for next date problem. Along with that, I will also discuss some of the guidance and observation in this session. This is going to be the last and important session for all of you. So please watch the video till the end. So what is that I have in this session? What is that I will mainly concentrate? So the main concentration is on the test cases of uh, next date problem as I told you. And also I will be discussing the guidelines and the observation. So with respect to the decision table is what you need to remember. So fine. So let's start. This is the test case structure that I have. So please observe the first column. The first column speaks about the case ID. Case ID in the sense the test case ID. So fine. One more important thing that you need to notice. So guys, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to 9. So what exactly this I have till 22. In my previous session, if you have observed carefully in the try 3. So when I was discussing the decision problem or decision table. So please remember and recollect or go back and check. So I had the rule number till 1 to 22. So that's what you need to Remember, so I had in total 22 rules. So that is what I would like to represent with the help of the test case. So guys, rule number one, two, three will have the same thing. So that's what you need to observe here. So guys, the test case ID one, two, three. So please observe. Suppose if I enter four in the month and if I enter 15 in the day and if I enter 2001 in the year. So what should be the next date? obviously so please understand so month will be 4 as it is and i will have the next day i will have the next day that is 16 and 2001 so please understand so this date is in the format of mm slash dd slash yy yy right so this is in the format of mm dd yy yy format that's what you need to understand so fine when it comes to the Next case that is case number four. So month is four and the day is 30. So year is 2001. So what will be the next day? So obviously it is 5, 1, 2001. So we are incrementing the month and also resetting the date. So fine, that is what you need to observe. If I enter, so please moving on to the fifth case. What is that I have here? So if I enter month as four and day as 31 and 2001 so guys it should be invalid data all right it should be invalid input date so please observe here okay so i cannot have 31 i cannot have 31 in that month is what you need to remember so fine so again i have six to nine so my month is one and day is 15 2001 obviously the day will get incremented is what you need to remember so fine in the same way i have 10 so month is one and day is 31 and the year is 2001 so please observe the next date will be what so guys so this is what i will get all right so the month is going to get incremented and also so please observe the date is going to get reset and 2001 the year will be as it is so that's what you need to observe here so fine 11 to 14 so month is 12 observe this is the december okay can i have 15 yes i can have 15 2001 so obviously the date is getting incremented so case number 16 all right so i have month what is that i have two so february so please uh, be alert when it comes to the february all right so 15 yes i can have no issues so obviously date will get incremented there is no uh, issues with that so again i have february all right so 28 so 2004 guys can i have Yes, it's a leap year, so date is getting incremented. So I have uh, the next case. So please observe here two. 
28 2001 right so even in that so no issues so month is getting incremented month is getting incremented it's a normal year it's not a leap year that's what you need to remember so there is no issues with that so i am resetting the month and also i'm resetting the day okay are you resetting the month no you are incrementing the month and you're resetting the day and there is no issues in calculating the next date is what you need to observe here so fine you have a month as usual february 29 2004 so again uh, sir can i have 29 yes in this year so you can have that's a leap year all right so you can calculate the next date so fine no issues with that but please observe when it comes to 20 so february 29 okay 2001 can i have that so is it a valid uh, date so please observe invalid input date so i cannot have that since it's a normal year that's what you need to observe here okay i cannot have i cannot calculate the next date so that's what you need to observe here 29 i cannot have that 29th of february in 2001 so that's what you need to remember so fine 21 and 22 okay rule number 21 and 22 so month is february and obviously i cannot have 30 days in the february so obviously my output will be invalid input date so this is the detailed test cases with respect to rule number one to rule number 22 this is what we have discussed in the previous sessions with respect to the decision table so hope you you have understood this concept in detail is what i believe all right so after this topic i also have some of the important points that i need to remember with respect to the decision table so let's understand that in detail one by one so what is the first point that i have with respect to the guidelines and the observation with respect to the decision table so guys when it comes to the decision table so using the decision table is not suitable for all the problems of course yes it holds good for the next state problem but when it comes to the commission problem i'm i will not be too very comfortable to use the decision problem or decision table testing my dear students because i will have a lot of problems with that okay so that is one of the limitations that i will have with respect to the decision table so what is that summary that you understood the decision table will not hold good for all the problems is what you need to understand with respect to the first point with the observation so fine what are the next important point that you need to remember so please check out the decision table technique is indicated for application categorized by the following things i can apply this decision table for all this below following things the first one is if you have the problem with the if then logic if conditions if you are using so you can use it and the next one is if you have any logical relationship between two input variables so there also you can use the decision table is what they suggest and the third one that you can use is calculating the involved subsets of input variable say i have the input variables i need to calculate the subsets of that so obviously i can use decision tables is what you need to remember and the next one is cause and effect relationship between input and output so this is one of the important thing that we need to remember so how exactly it is changing okay is what we can observe with respect to the decision table all right so that's what you need to remember cause and effect of relationships between the inputs and outputs will be neatly depicted with respect to the decision table is what you need to remember fine and the last one is high cyclomatic complexity so what exactly is this i will be discussing this in detail in the chapter number nine so don't worry about it right now but even i will have this in the decision table with respect to the decision table is what you need to remember but when it comes to the more number of entries uh, i think my choice should not be the decision table so i will have a lot of issues so is what the point number two says okay so when it comes to the point number three of course a lot of problems will take a lot of iterations to come to a exact result in the first iteration the result what they have got is not up to the mark and they would have not get the satisfactory result so when they move on to the each and every iteration the result or the accuracy of the result will increase by iteration to iteration is what they say with respect to the decision table so fine so this is the guidelines and the observation that we need to remember with respect to the decision table by saying this i will put a full stop to the chapter called 
decision tables based testing. So guys, by saying this, thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you have got any information out of this, don't forget to share and like. Thank you, everybody.